The first Minister of Scotland attends the Ahmadiyya Muslim Peace Symposium in Glasgow to support in the fight against extremism and promote the true teachings of Islam and motto of Ahmadi Muslims, love for all, hatred for none. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Glasgow, Scotland, held a peace symposium on Sunday 4th December 2016. The event took place at the University of Glasgow, situated in the heart of the largest city of Scotland. The aim of the peace symposium was to spread the peaceful message of Islam as taught by the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and to bring people from different religions and cultures to one platform for peace and unity. The theme of this event was united against extremism. The First Minister of Scotland, Right Honourable Nicola Sturgeon, MSP, visited the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mosque in Glasgow earlier in the day, where she met with the National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, Mr Rafiq Ahmed Hayat, and other senior members of the community. The First Minister also met with the ladies of the community. The First Minister also joined in the launch of a national campaign called True Islam to promote understanding of the true and peaceful message of Islam and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, as taught by the Holy Prophet of Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Um, I think it's very important and I am supportive of any uh, campaign that is about promoting peace and tolerance and understanding uh, between different faiths, within different faiths. Uh, the Ahmadiyya community uh, has its own experience of uh, prejudice against it and in some respects uh, persecution of it. Uh, we need to challenge that and, and tackle that and promote understanding of this community but also support the efforts of this community uh, to promote uh, peace and tolerance more generally. The Right Honourable First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, MSP, joined the National President of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, Mr Rafiq Ahmed Hayat, and addressed the attendees at the Peace Symposium at the University of Glasgow. Other guest speakers included Lord Provost, Representative, Bailey Nina Baker, Margaret Ferrier, MP for Rutherland Glen and Hamilton West, Right Honourable Pauline McNeil, MSP for Glasgow Kelvin. Over 400 guests attended the event, of which 200 were non-Muslim guests, including various politicians, teachers, doctors, businessmen and students. Speakers at the event praised the Ahmadiyya Muslim community for its efforts at a global scale to provide humanitarian relief, promote values of peace and unity, and continuously reach out to help communities and people of all faiths, despite being persecuted in several countries around the world. The First Minister, addressing the attendees, expressed how the Scottish Government would stand with the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and promote the message that Scotland, as a country, welcomes diversity. Ms Sturgeon further stated that we all have a part to play in promoting tolerance and challenging extremism. She said that the motto of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community of love for all, hatred for none, was not only for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, but for the entire world. The keynote address was presented by a respected national president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Mr Rafiq Ahmed Hayat, who addressed the attendees about the true peaceful teachings of Islam and what the Ahmadiyya Muslim community stood for. Respected National President explained how the Ahmadiyya Muslim community would always work to help humanity and those in need around the world, and would stand with the Scottish Government and all governments in achieving peace in this world. And to the wider public, we call upon all of you to join us in our stand to reject extremism, whether it is murders in the streets of Paris, Brussels, London, Aleppo, or Glasgow. And we must say with one voice, loud and clear, that you will not divide us. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community has organised events and campaigns across the UK to promote values of peace and harmony, and aims to continue its efforts and reach all corners of the globe. This report is brought to you from MTA International, UK Studios, in Glasgow.